Hi, welcome back to Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Please subscribe to our channel to learn UiPath in a very easy way. We are into exercise number 16. Let's have a check. So in this exercise, there is a message template. You can look at the message template which talks about hi, first name, last name. Thank you for applying the job. Your interview scheduled on then interview date you will be contacted further for confirmation so this is the message template ask user three inputs you will ask first name last name date for interview when he wants to give the interview so three different input you are asking okay so once you ask that input what you need to do is i mean there could be lot many validation can be done but i am not really focusing on different validation what i am focusing you to do is design a workflow which will replace the above template with the first name last name and interview date as per the user entered input so whatever the user is entering for example user is entering my name is rakesh kumar and interview date he's selecting let's say may 7th or whatever so exactly you should show a message box by replacing all of this and show that final message box okay if the question is clear Please pause the video and start designing on your own and see if you could design. Okay. Nevertheless, if you are not aware, you can continue with me and understand how the designing can be done. Okay. So once you have completed, please do mark yes. Just let me know that you have completed this exercise so that I get encouraged to create more contents for you. So please do subscribe for more such contents. Anyone who has not subscribed to our channel. So let's get started and understand in the UiPath Studio. Okay, so in the studio, what I have done to save time, uh, I have designed a workflow for you. So let me tell you, first three things are quite simple. Input dialog box, right? In the first input dialog box, I am asking enter your first name. I have a variable for that. In the second one, I am again asking enter your last name, uh, you know, having a variable for that last name. Similar way, the third input is asking for the interview date okay when are you available for the interview so this these are the three basic sentences i have written and i'm collecting three different data in three different variables getting it first name last name and interview data these are your user inputs or whatever the user is entering it will be captured in this variable so this is clear after that what i am doing i have used a assign activity okay using the assign activity this is very important because a person could write date in various way one could write uh, let's say may 07th or 09 may 2021 somebody will write may 09 2021 right or august 02 2021 so the people people might write in various format and it is in string so what i am doing i am just converting this to date format and for this i have already taught you in the previous exercise hope you could recall it's very simple date time dot parse or you can even use date function date dot parse or date time dot parse so and interview date so this is the string and it is going to convert the string into date format okay so once that is converted what i want is i want that to be replaced in the template so what you have to do the template right so this is the template you create a simple you know write it in a notepad and create a simple template like this okay create it and copy this entire content and what you do create a variable okay i have created a variable called message format and in the message format variable i am copy pasting in double quotes okay the entire thing i have copied and pasted in double code so whatever the message template is there that template format i'm keeping in the variable okay so this is clear all right so after keeping it this is what you need i am i'm taking another assign activity and in the assign activity make a note of this this is what is going to do the job make a note i i have told you to maintain a separate couple of pages where you are writing syntaxes okay any new syntax that you are learning start writing them Keep and do not write anything else apart from syntax right keep it separate only write syntaxes okay so here this is the syntax so whatever your template or message format which is containing that entire template dot replace what i want to replace i want to replace wherever in the template 
there is first name right wherever there is in the template there is first name like this exactly you copy paste from your template and type it over here comma you i want to replace with the first name this is the variable okay this variable is the user input user has entered so it is going to replace wherever it finds in this particular variable message format wherever it finds first name it is going to replace so this is the function i am using dot replace okay so that way it is going to replace and the same thing i have to do it thrice one for the last name the other one is for the date okay format remains the same no change all i am doing is just replacing that exact data user data to be replaced with interview date first name to be replaced with that variable and then similar way last name should be replaced with last name variable getting it so that way it is going to replace so once it replace what i want i want to show that in a message box so for that i have written i have told you i simply i am writing the variable message format okay because this is a simple string so this way my workflow is designed so let's run it and understand how it works okay so let's run it all right so the user input has come it is asking enter your first name so let me enter rakesh then it's asking enter your last name let me enter kumar and when are you available for the interview let's say i'm saying i'm available uh, let's say may 9th 2021 okay so look at the format how i'm typing first i'm typing the month like this i'm typing so people could type in various ways so now you can see hi rakesh kumar thank you for applying for this job role your interview is scheduled on may 9th 2021 you will be contacted for the for confirmation okay this is how it has typed L let me type it in a different way and see how it works okay so let's run it so this is interesting right okay so here it is asking the first name so rakesh kumar and here i am selecting when are you available for the interview let's say i am saying i am available for um let's say 09 may 2021 i am typing in a different way now month i am keeping in the middle place okay so you can see it is it is able to convert that into proper date format and it's showing proper way i mean this format is working fine for me so there could be so many conditions somebody will type back date let's say february which is already gone so for all of that we can put multiple conditions okay and we can do it but i want to don't want to get you into so much of complexity at this moment our job is to teach you what you should have done for this so the learning point here is dot replace okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video we are going to come up with more such exercises and at the end of all of the exercises please do maintain a separate book and write syntax because at the end you will have a collection of knowledge which is going to quickly help you with any kind of questions thrown at you okay so you you know you can recall you can revise before your interview and you will be very very confident at the end all right guys thank you so much please do subscribe please do give a like to all the videos that you are watching on our channel and please do motivate us thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day bye bye